Back in the days as an eligible bachelor in his prime, Samuel Poso was famously known for being a ladies' man. However, after he tied the nuptial knot to dazzling beauty Ozioma Sami Okoso in 2010 and continued to celebrate her in grand style even after 11 years of marriage, many assumed that the leopard had finally changed his sports. Sadly, it looks like Sami did not change and fans only got to find out after the 50-year-old gospel musician, also known as the Welu Welu Master, brought the details of his very shameful and embarrassing extramarital affairs to the notice of Nigerians. In an Instagram post on Tuesday, January 25, 2022, the award-winning music minister admitted to having an affair with a lady in late 2021 during a trip to the US. He then sought the forgiveness of the general public and his wife. In making peace with God, the Organado Kruna also suspended himself from all ministry work. Little did Nigerians know that his apology was coming barely 48 hours after the lady he cheated with called him out in an interview with Obodo Ibo TV on January 23, 2022, where she detailed how they messed around more than once with proof that cannot be denied. The US-based lady identified herself by her alias, African Doll, and explained that despite the gospel singer's marital status, their affair was going smoothly until she broke the news that she was pregnant. She said there and then, he ordered her to terminate it and completely ghosted her. With the news out in the open, gospel concerts where the singer was built to perform have begun removing his name from the lineup. Also, Nigerians have taken to dragging him, saying he is only sorry he got caught and exposed. Meanwhile, African Doll has decided to keep the baby, despite Sami Okoso's wife having no child for him yet. Upon hearing this, it looks like his wife, Ozioma, who he claims is in severe distress over the news, have also decided not to forgive him, as he initially deleted the apology, put his page on private mode, and later deleted his Instagram accounts. I'm telling him the whole time, like, look, I am not trying to get anything from you. I am not here to, to disgrace you. You know, we are both wrong. Is Sami Okoso really sorry or just sorry he got caught? Will his marriage survive this infidelity scandal? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Veteran gospel singer, music producer and CEO of Zama Entertainment record label, Sami Okoso started his music career in 1992 as a sound engineer. He later went full into gospel music years after. However, it wasn't until the year 2000 when he released Welu Welu, the gospel jam of that decade, that he gained prominence. Just like that, he became known as the Welu Welu Master and a one-hit wonder, a title he maintained by releasing hit upon hit, including Ninja Praise, Not Only You I Know, Good God, God Can, Omeri Wo, A Marvelous Thing, Sing Hallelujah, Oluwai Tobi, and the list goes on. Today, the 50-year-old gospel artist is not just famous in Nigeria but has gained acclamation in Europe and North America. He has also won tons of awards owing to his inspirational praise and worship gospel jam and his contribution to the growth of gospel music in Nigeria. Apart from enjoying a very successful music career, Sami Okoso enjoyed a very blissful marital life. This is coming after he tied the knot to dazzling beauty Ozioma Sami Okoso in 2010. Ozioma, who once resided in the US, is the current human resources manager of Fume House Cinemas. Ozi and Sami fell in love and got married in a beautiful traditional wedding in Inewi, Anambra State on June 26, 2010, and later had their white wedding on July 1 of 2010 in Victoria Island, Lagos. Before he got itched at the altar, the gospel music artist Ellen from Isoko, Delta State, was a ladies' man, and it was common to hear people say he doesn't want to get married but just play around. He enjoyed many romantic relationships with female celebrities, including Kate Henshaw, Stella Damasas, and Janet Fateye. This is also not forgetting his longtime lover, Gloria Ibrew, the first daughter of Olorogun Michael Ibrew, who became his baby mama. Today, they have a 19-year-old child together, a daughter named Alula Okposo. Despite his history of pursuing everything in Sket, Sami Okposo, in a 2014 interview, said he is done with that life and happily married to the woman of his dreams. He said he is glad he took his time choosing the one because he may have joined the list of crashed celebrity marriages in Nigeria. Over the years, he continued to shower his wife with love and affection and often threw grand parties for her birthday. As witnessed in 2015, during his wife's 40th birthday, despite their marriage not being blessed with a child. But more recently, 
It looks like the gospel minister didn't put his history behind him, and his insatiable appetite for women is still is present, and this shocking side of him was revealed to the public on January 25, 2022, after he openly admitted to cheating on his beautiful wife of 11 years in an Instagram post. While Okposo's apology may seem genuine, it has become clear that it's only a classic case of I'm sorry cause I got caught, as a video of the lady he cheated with exposing their shenanigans surfaces online. Barely 48 hours before he penned the apology letter, the US-based lady identified as African Doll had an interview with Obodo Yibo TV, where she detailed her affairs with the married singer. While providing proof, the lady claimed that he met at a concert he performed in the US, after which they followed each other on Instagram and exchanged phone numbers. He later invited her to another show in Austin, Texas, which she honored. After the concert, he then invited her to his hotel, and the rest, they say, is history. We met um, because I um, went to one of his shows here in Texas. Well, I went to a few, but we met um, at a concert at one of the churches not far from my home. And um, then we started, we started following each other on Instagram and we built a rapport like through Instagram. And then he asked me for my number I gave him my cell phone number, he gave me his Nigerian number and his American number. So we would kind of converse back and forth on the phone, through WhatsApp, through regular call and through Instagram chat. It was, yeah, that was how it started. Um, According to African Doll, they messed around more than once. And while she admitted they were not in a relationship, she said they were just friends with benefits getting to know each other. However, their sweet friendship, which was already blossoming, began to wilt after she found out she was pregnant and informed the veteran gospel artist. She said he asked her to terminate it and went on a tirade, accusing her of trying to disgrace him and ruin his marriage. No, we didn't. Um, we never talked about uh, using protection. Yeah. And, he's like, and he's like, okay, I thought you were going to do this. And I was like, look, I am yet... I, I haven't decided yet. Yes. And so that kind of pissed him off. He was like, I'm pissed. I'm livid. You know, you know who I am. You know, we, we didn't have any issues until this, this, this situation. Yeah. You know, and because I'm not doing what he want me to do. Now you want to block me out and you want to, you know, no, that's not fair. So. While the interview was going on, Samuel Poso was alerted by his fans and he immediately called the show to exonerate himself. He admitted to knowing the lady but said he met her only once. He demanded his own exclusive interview with the presenter to tell his own side of the story. Oh, hi Sammy, how are you? Um, I wish I could tell you that I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. I think the next episode is gonna be my turn. Okay, you what you can come. I mean, you are speaking now. No, no, no. I'm not gonna be talking with you on the day she decides to speak with you. No, that's just my personal preference. Okay. So, do you want to come to the show after after she finished talking? Every story has two sides and the real side. That's true. So every story, there are details. And there is evidence, hard evidence. Anybody can get up and say anything. So I'm not even going to have a headache by the fact that she said there is a baby and the baby is supposedly supposed to be mine. Medical side will sort it all out. Can I ask, do you know this lady? I know her, of course. Have I, have I told you that I don't know her? No, no, I'm not here to tell you that. She's a total stranger. No, 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 no. She's mm -hmm. a, I know her. You know her. And then okay. she came to my event. I suppose what I want was, was there a sexual relationship? You know, when I come on my own exclusive, she's had her own now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and um my my the work that I do, it's intertwined with social media. So um I don't have any complex or fear to be speaking on social media social media promotes what i do so sadly it did not show up a couple of days after the gospel singer was exposed he penned an apology to his wife and family via his instagram page african doll revealed that she decided to go public because samuel Poso stopped picking her calls 
blocked her on social media and every access she could have used to reach him. However, she said she would be keeping her baby whether the gospel minister wants to be involved as a father or not. She added that she isn't after his wealth but just wants him to be cordial and respect her decision as she has rights too. As if regretting admitting to his extramarital affair and ashamed that Nigerians have not been so forgiven, Sami Okoso first deleted the apology. Then, he put his page on private. As of January 28, 2022, he has deleted his Instagram and Twitter pages. Also, Dunamis International Gospel Center has removed his name from the lineup of gospel artists and many expect that other concerts he has been scheduled to perform at will follow suit. While his wife, Ozioma, is yet to react to her husband's disgraceful act publicly, people have taken to their keypads to react to the news. Despite the culture in Nigeria where men are easily forgiven for cheating, even when a child is involved, Nigerians have refused to forgive Oposo for his extramarital affairs, majorly because he is only sorry because the lady exposed him. He may not forgive his wife should she be the erring one. Reports of Sami Oposo's former wayward life before marriage have also gone viral. An Instagram news account claims is the reason Kate Henshaw and Stella Damasos were fighting in the past. The blog claims it was dating the two actresses simultaneously and when they found out, it ended in a fight. That's not all. The blog claims that his daughter, Alula, is not his only child, stating at one time impregnated about four ladies attending popular Lekki church, House on the Rock. Meanwhile, here are some reactions. A Twitter user wrote, Sami Okoso will lashes half of the choir girls for that church that year. No be today oh. You know how many churches don't come on time as music director in their choir? Laugh my ass out. Another user wrote, It's only after being caught you'll see a man put up that kind of apology Sami Okoso put on. You watch your wife sleep beside you, cook for you, tuck your children in and play her duties every day while you cheat without remorse. Cheating in marriage should be punishable by law. Another user wrote, Yesterday, Messi Aigbe leaves her husband for cheating, marries another woman's husband. This morning, woman executes her husband for cheating. Sami Okoso apologizes for cheating on his wife. Polygamy fixes all these issues. Another user, would Sami Okoso had apologized if that girl didn't go to YouTube to cast him? Another user wrote, Sami Okoso always cheating and getting caught. Another user wrote, Dear woman, support your man in everything he does. Which means if he cheats you, cheat back. If he surprises you with a baby, you to surprise him with a baby and tender a public apology like Sami Okposo. So tell us guys, what do you think about Sami Okposo's extramarital affairs and his apology? Do you think he only apologized because he got caught? Do you think the lady he cheated with is right for keeping the baby, especially when his wife doesn't have a child for him? Lastly, do you think this shocking news will crash his marriage and gospel music career? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.